Today, I want to talk about moving from helplessness to helpfulness. I was walking with my children past beautiful pictures of the children who have been kidnapped. And my five-year-old asked what kidnap means. And she asked, does it mean they're lost? And my nine-year-old said, and I said, no, they're not lost. And my nine-year-old said, well, they're also lost because even if they were to escape, they wouldn't be able to find their way home. And that instilled in me a feeling of helplessness. And we sat with that for a little bit as we walked. And then we shifted the helplessness to helpfulness. What is it that a five-year-old, what is it that an eight-year-old, what is it that an adult, I will not disclose my age, year old, can do? What can I do with those feelings of helplessness to turn them into helpfulness? And there are many opportunities and there are many ways. For my children, it may be drawing pictures and writing cards um, for our soldiers. If you're a religious person, praying is huge and essential. Um, there are many ways that we can all do things to be helpful. And being helpful doesn't mean that we need to extend ourselves too far out. Being helpful can mean getting through the day for yourself and for your family, for your community, for your neighbors and for those beyond. Um, we'll talk about that more in the next video. But remember, we are stronger together. We've got this. Even when we don't feel it, we know it. And we are going to get there day by day.